Radiant team, pick. They pick up the Ember Spirit, and this might be Dino Hero for, team I think, back. Sing Sing, potentially, um, going into the mid lane. I'm not sure. You, you mentioned that they do swap the roles around a lot. Yeah. They, so. uh, Koikova occasionally plays the off lane. Sometimes he plays middle. Uh, but I think Ember is more of a more of a Sing Sing hero. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm, sure I, Koikova, I sing -sing. I'm sure Koikova. I'm sure Koikova is extremely competent at uh, Ember Spirit, but you know, I think it's one of one of Sing Sing's best heroes for sure. We actually have one of the best Ember Spirits in the world in our in our uh, slot with us. You know, going back to Star Ladder, we have oh, to ask God. our tour. We we gotta ask him how to play this hero. That, that was one of the funniest games I think I've seen in a really long time. I, he's what? just like, he was, I think, talking to us at the, the game games. when he just bought like, he had like f four random items, no progression at all. He kept just re just beating like diebacks, just hilarious. <laughs> I like how he's in the slot. Yeah, oh, we're God. Just yeah, we're just flaming the living hell out of him, and I'm okay Sorry, with buddy. that. And uh, I, I'm kind of interested to see if this uh, mid lane lone druid. I mean, it's got, I think it matches up very well against Ember. Because your main hero, you can stay for the most part away from Slight, but the bear is actually really good against Ember because he does not have a lot of HP. Uh, he'll take a lot of damage from the bear, especially if you get like an Orb of Venom or something. Yeah, you get an Orb of Venom plus an Entanglement Call as proc, and all of a sudden you're just yeah, gonna kill like that Ember's dead. Spirit. Yeah, so that's something to keep in mind. And maybe they think this is like a, a safe lane mode or something. I'm not sure, but. Um, this is, I think, a really solid draft for Power Rangers thus far. Batrider getting stacks and then Jungle getting towards his Blink Dagger is going to be very important. Blinking in last wing Legion Commander before she can get her duel off is going to be very important in this game. And um, I, I think there are ways to shut down this Team Tinker lineup. And, and especially with Lasso and Root against Ember Spirit, it's very important that you lock him down. And Ancient Seal as well. So this is not the best Ember Spirit game for me, at least, in a nutshell. I think that this could be really, really bad for Team Tinker. We'll have to see what they pick with their fifth pick here. It's going to have to be a core. They already have their Ogre. They already have their Rubik. Power Rangers will pick up their last hero here, which will also be a core, more than likely. And probably their safe lane hero, assuming they send Lone Druid mid, which is not 100% guaranteed yet. Yeah, just because they've done it recently, um, and obviously that doesn't guarantee it, but it seems like it's definitely possible uh, for them to just shove that in the mid lane again, especially yeah, with the this match. Is, this is Nexus's Wraith King. He played this very well in that second game, and 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 they I, this is pretty much the exact lineup they ran yesterday at the in the last game between Complexity. Um, it'll work very well for them. They, they just need to play smart. And they were on the dire side as well, so they know what to do. They know when to take Roshan. They know how to be aggressive. Split pushing was, I think, the most important thing for them um, with the Lone Druid, and they did that very well up until the last couple of minutes of the game where they got caught out in complexity, which was... They were two racks down, and they almost came back into it with a very farmed offlane alchemist, by the way. Almost came back and took the game from Power Rangers. But with that being said, Power Rangers did take Reserve the victory. Time. They're 1-1. One, one. Team Tinker, their first series here for the Dota Pit. Season 2, group stages. We are going to be underway in just a minute with the last pick coming out for Team Tinker here. Luna banned out in the last round of the draft. And Luna is sort of up there. Terrorblade has not been touched. Are these, are these teams insane? They just don't have the same ideas, maybe, as some of the other West teams. I, that hero just seems just good. beyond good. Like, well, we've also seen it get crushed, though. I mean, yeah, I mean, it can whatever. get crushed, but... I guess it depends on the style of play. I mean, if you like to play aggressive at all, he's pretty terrible. He needs a long time. He needs like a mana style, uh, and then he can sort of split push. I guess maybe it's sort of just qualifies as like one of those envy type heroes, or you know, any of those other hard farmers. Yeah. Uh, I guess Tinker don't really. I mean, I feel like I feel like Terrorblade could be a really good Quake hero. I mean, you know? I, f I feel like any hero could be a really good Quake uh, hero. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> Well, he's the dreadful spirit. You know, that's that's a really good coik for hero right there. It's just like build. Yeah, Every okay. hero is a good coik for hero. No, but I see what you're saying now. I agree with you 100%. Um, I, that's something that it, he even met, mentioned beforehand in, in you know, the live creeps. He's like, I want to hit creeps, guys. Like, well, you know, you might be able to do that. And it is going to be Sing Sing and the Ember Spirit. Pie Cat Link, man. And the O. Oh, out for Team Tinker. This was on a Reddit post before. Somebody's like, "Yeah, go mid, go mid Ogre Mad guys. Fine, it's fine." Yeah, I think. Well, I think this will probably be off lane yeah, just maybe. because of. Uh, I, although he's gonna run into a few, quite a few issues here. If it is, I, I mean, I don't know about this one. There's man. a Wraith King. There's a Vengeful Spirit. There's Skyrath Mage. Doesn't matter too much, but two stuns seems like it might be a bit difficult. I mean, part of the reason that people are thinking it's viable now is just because. 
his HP regen is much it's higher like now. It's like, now. Yeah, it's 2.5. So Nyx Assassin is the highest, I think, around 3. So yes. that's quite high for uh, for a hero. He went from like 0.25 to 2.5. Yeah. And it's possible that sort of brings him into, you know, maybe a chance for him being in that off lane. Well, but we'll I, I don't know. Them. I mean, this is just a crazy draft from both sides. You don't usually see a mid lone druid. And, and the only reason that I know oh, that it is a mid lone druid is because of yesterday's game. Yeah, because they did. Yeah, earlier. so if, if there is one thing that's constant on Team Tinker, though, it's that the supports are going to be EGM and Bulba 99% of the time. Um, and, and you see that here clearly. So for Team Tinker, your rating team, first game for the Dota Pit League season number two, a team that's seen a lot of play recently, a lot of uh, good results as well. Looking forward to seeing what they can bring here in the next couple of months. We'll have Sing Sing. He'll be playing your Ember Spirit, EGM on the Earthshaker. Boba, he's going to be playing your Rubik. We'll have Pi Cat. He's going to be playing your Legion Commander. And Quikva is going to be on your Ogre Magi, rounding out the lineup of Team Tinker. But, oh. Yeah, it looks like they're getting a bit close to each other. But J4, he's going to be on the Wraith King. Skyrath Mage, it's going to be We Just Zick. It's going to be Nexus on the Vengeful Spirit. Uh, we've got Cheshire, Cat, um, Batrider, and I think J4, uh, nope, 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 all the way up top, Shocklow. He's right, going to well, be on. The I Druid, was so. clearly wrong. Uh, it's not going to be a mid lane. Lone I mean, Druid. it seems like it could It could have been completely fine, honestly. Yeah, yeah. But it, they also have Nexus playing the Vengeful Spirit, which is he's the core player for uh, Power Rangers. And, and this might be a core Venge, but I, I'm not so sure. J4 does have the Sentry Ward on him. We just think has the Observer, so it looks like that's going to be your support duo. And a good support duo that is. J4, he won't have that much mana to work with in terms of Wraith Fire Blast, but he has one clarity to work with uh, as well, so that should be fine. Double damage rune picked up for the Lone Druid Bear. Uh, I don't think that actually just, just denies it. Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, it doesn't even work, so... And uh, Agro Try coming out now from Team Tinker with Sing Sing up at the top lane, mid lane, Pi Cat Legion, solo safe, solo safe Ogre Magi. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I'm interested to see what kind of items he builds to keep himself relevant past BKBs. Uh, because, I mean, Batrider's gonna get a BKB, Wraith King's gonna get a BKB. Like, those are just default BKB carriers. Obviously, the other heroes might stop for it as well but they've got a couple just normal bkb heroes on their team anyway so quick would just pieced out of that lane he's like oh, i don't i don't think so guys nope i'm gonna get arcane bolted anyways and he's gonna pop his fire blast real quick he's gonna try to man up on we just sick and he actually yeah. has boots and we just sick i don't know if he can really fight this if another fire blast in six fire seconds quick can get bad. a solo kill but i don't think they're gonna keep going for this Ooh. he wants it he can't get it Against his better judgment, he will back away. And Quick yeah. uh, playing very aggressively, which I like a lot. I mean, hit, he's regening up like crazy. He eats a tree. He just regens casually back up to about full health. Pretty nice. Yeah, look at that that regen. 3.2 with nothing. That's pretty impressive stuff. That's really so. nice. And, we'll and find out if this is enough. I mean, it seems like he will sort of be not farming that much just because of the way that things have worked out here. There's still actually going to be that Ember Spirit versus the Lone Druid matchup as they put Pi Cat middle on the Legion Commander. So during the draft I was talking about, Legion just has not had a lot of success recently, honestly. Like, since being out of the patch, I think every single time I've seen her play, she just loses. So maybe mid is a, a little bit better hero for her, a little bit faster levels. Yeah, the thing is she's going against a bat rider. Pycat's going against a bat rider, and he's already taking a heck of a lot of damage. Yes, he has a magic stick, but he's got to get this early bottle. However, he's about even in terms of CS at the very least, so that's nice. Cheshire Cat's coming in, and he's like, I can throw my overwhelming odds down. In fact, he just did. Um, he has his press the attack as well, so... Yeah, he should be fine because he can purge off the stacks. That's actually true. pretty smart. Yeah. I, I, you know, that's something that I completely just forgot about, but... Yeah, that ability the, is pretty pretty insane. Yeah, that's actually... I mean, he's got a good kit. You have a lot of good abilities on Legion Commanders, just like you talked about, not the success that you're looking for. Top lane, this lone druid at three last hits. They're shutting him down pretty effectively, Sing Sing at seven. And they have a nice big creep wave coming here for Sing to take all this farm. And Quakefla is getting zoned out. He's level two. Uh, so they are doing a nice job getting Nexus Farm in the bottom lane. In fact, he is the top CSer in the game at 15. And a core bench is something I haven't seen in a while. Meanwhile, they're going to use the Concussive Shot, Wraith Fire Blast, Koifa in trouble, but very tanky. He does have boots of speed. He is slow, but he fine. should be fine. Yeah, I mean, he's just, yeah. they can't kill him. He's got a lot of HP. He's got no HP items in over 600, so uh, it's pretty nice for him. And I think until the Venge also commits, they'll just, they just won't be able to kill him, to be honest. Yeah. The so. benefit of having two heads, you're, you're just <laughs> double the tank coming after over the Magi. Bulba and EGM are rotating a bit in the jungle here. It looks like maybe they were seen out by this ward uh, up in the jungle, so no surprises there. But uh -oh. I think uh, have the same idea. Yeah. Looks like. 
So they're just going to be roaming through here, but oh, oh, a very nice play by Piecat there. Really smart, just sends the illusion out. Now we'll just back away and a, a lot of time wasted coming through. Quick was actually oh, going to as well. They want to get a kill here. here. They might find J4 and uh, Fire Blast is going to go from the high ground. There's the Ignite as well. Piecat. Gonna use press the attack coming through. J4 getting caught out. Body blocked by Quick, but beautifully done. Overwhelming odds. They have overwhelming odds, dead. but they're not gonna get the kill with it. Just one right click. Quick was should grab this and will. That's first blood going to your solo no. save plan, Ogre Magi. Top lane, they're going on shock low though. Two TPs coming in. Are they gonna try to go for this kill? No levels in slight, I don't think so. Very close. Yeah, Great Sing, with one level in slight there, that's probably a kill, but Sing Sing has gone for uh, a bit of a different build here, just trying to stand up to any harass that comes in in the lane. Uh, kind of an interesting choice here. I mean, the chains is pretty good against the bear, so you can just make sure you don't get run down. Cheshire Cat will pick up an Invis rune, and, and those rotations were actually fat, fantastic coming out from Power Rangers, but this leaves Quickfoot getting at least some room in the bottom lane, and you've got to be careful. Vengeful Spirit can take a lot of damage from, like, a level 2 Fire Blast and Quickfoot manning up, but at the same time, Magic Missile should be enough, and we have a tear to armor reduce. Should be pretty nice as well, so. Yeah, and PyCat controlling the runes here fairly well. I mean, both these heroes have really good wave clear, so this is kind of an interesting Radiance little, uh, little matchup we've got going on here. Obviously, overwhelming odds when you max that out. Very good wave clear. And Firefly, I don't, I don't think we really need to talk about the wave clear of that spell. So. Top lane, Top initiation. Lane. Oh, boy. J4 gets stuck and he's back to get Fisher. There's no stun left. J4 will back away. The bear getting low. They want this kill. They want the 300 gold. It looks like they won't be able to get it. EGM gets Arcane Bolted. Sing Sing still with no point in Slide of Fist. And top lane is just a, it's an all out brawl now. It's, they've switched the lanes around, and this could be huge destruction coming out in just a couple of minutes. Okay, well, bottom lane, Koikva versus Nexus. Koikva is at a pretty heavy level disadvantage here because Ventral Spirits just been like AFK farming in lane. Mm -hmm. Also has treads, so. Koikova needs to be a bit careful here. I'm still not sure he can actually die to this hero as long as he's uh, fairly careful and doesn't get like really out of position and eat like uh, two stuns or something like that. Yeah. He should be okay. I mean, th this is just kind of weird now because you do have to be careful. Avenge does put out a surprising amount of damage yeah, at absolutely. these early levels. Yeah, I mean, you, I, a wave of tear. Wave is very real. They, they actually are just ridiculous. Then you, you get the armor reduction and, and as tanky as the Ogre Magi is, it's yeah, still the hero's to rotating the down. Spirit. I think they need to kill this Venge. Yeah, She's this very is... fragile. She does have treads, bringing her actually to a pretty healthy HP of 900. She'll but... still get bursted down, I mean, even yeah. with treads. But at the same time, they aren't going to go for the kill. Venge realizes that something's amiss. She rotates back towards her tower. They see that there are some heroes missing top lane. EGM will get some room to get levels as well, which is very important. He's sitting currently at level 3. He is a, ahead of J4, but Bulba's sitting at level 2, so Bulba's got to find ways to get levels as well. And they actually have a smoke for Bulba if they want to smoke up ahead mid. Regen rune, Piecat, looks like he's going to grab that as well. He does have duel now, by the way. Um, they can try to go for a kill sometime in the near future, and they might do so. Yeah, you want to make sure you get that first one, so I imagine we'll probably wait till the rotation comes through with Bulba. And Koikova are here in the mid lane, so maybe they want to make moves on Cheshire Cat. They have a good way to set this up with Lift and Fire Blast into the duel, so... They yeah, need to be a bit careful as J4 is kind of standing in the back. He's also level Oof. 2. Now they're going to move forward. Oh, it's coming out. Now they they're not going to go for this anymore. Quick, we get stunned with the Wraith Fire Blast. Magic Missile, Quick, but in some trouble. There's overwhelming odds coming through. Oh, Swap duel coming out. Cheshire Cat not really taking any damage. He will survive the duel. Fable not doing much. Pie Cat, they've lost two heroes. Concussive shot. Beautiful rotations from Power Rangers to stop that gank. And Cheshire Cat lo lives with about 10 HP, so... Yeah, they were beyond ready for that. I mean, J4 was standing there, immediate TP reaction by Vengeful Spirit, good Firefly as well to give them uh, a little bit of extended vision there, and yeah, they were just completely ready for that gank, and as a result, Tinker loses two heroes. Uh, the, the duel did not go either way, though, so at least he didn't lose the duel. Yeah, that's true. It could have been a lot worse, just giving up 10 um, damage to the Batrider, so... They keep things about even other than obviously the two kills going the way of Power Rangers. Nexus gets involved as well, so he gets up to a stick, a Kila. He's starting to do some damage now. The real question is, what what do you actually build on the core bench here? Um, uh, there's a lot a of options. What'd you say? Maybe a Manta at some point? Manta's, I think Yasha's pretty good. SNY is surprisingly good on this hero because mm, yeah. you get the HP from it. Uh, the movement is pretty relevant as well. Occasionally the main can get you kills just because of the right click damage you can put out. So I think it's an item that is more common on this hero than many other carries. But uh, Yasha, I think something with a Yasha will definitely mean his near future.
Well, they're gonna go for a smooth of deceit gank, so that's that's the item that he chooses to pick up now. And they're looking for a gank. Bulba way out of position. Oh, Ray Fire Blast. Telekinesis, nicely done. Magic missile. Will they dive? There's Fisher coming out as well. Bulba's still alive. Great reaction time swap. Quick blood trying to get this kill on Nexus up to the high ground. Fire Blast is going to be there. Ignite's going to fly out in just a second. Nexus looks like he will fall. TP coming through. No, sir, you aren't going to make it out. EGM with the enchant totem grabs the kill. And that's really great reaction time. For team to get that kill. Yeah, well played there. And this is also really important because meanwhile, Boba is just getting levels, uh, which is really important because Rubik needs to get level six as soon as possible. Like, that's you can't overstate how important it is for that Rubik to get the level six. Spell Steel obviously just opens up such a huge opportunity for you. Stealing Wraith Fire Blast is huge. Most of Skyrath's spells are very, very good. You can steal the bear from Lone Druid. I mean, that's very unlikely, but. The Wraith Fire Blast is insanely good on Rubik, yeah. just because yeah. his mana pool is way higher, obviously, than uh, Wraith King's. So, yeah. maybe Bul Blast Bulba just needs to still? find some find some room. Yeah, that, that's they're yeah, not really giving him anything too. though. I mean, you have Sing Sing in the bottom lane taking up bottom farm. Top lane Koif has been sitting there for some time. Mid lane EGM sitting here. I think actually maybe Earthshaker's farm is a bit more important than Bulba's, but I don't know. I, I don't know if you could really. Uh, yeah, Bul I mean, Bulba just needs levels. Earthshaker actually needs farm. Like yes. he needs arcanes. He needs blank dagger, and he just doesn't really have much of anything to be honest. So yes. he is just soaking XP in the mid lane at the moment, and all of. Pretty much all the Power Rangers are down bottom. It looks like they think there's gonna be pressure or movement on Nexus here. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't. I don't think Team Tinker are even close to interested in really committing on this. Bulba is just gonna pull and get levels. Yeah, Sing exactly. Sing is just gonna keep farming. Yeah, and and until Sing Sing gets up towards like his first battle terrain drums. In the near future, but um, can they get he's, the kills? The question. He actually yeah, has enough money farms. for Master Manus, so. Yeah, this this is this is a little bit scary. I mean, I'm, I have no idea how good Mask of Madness is on the bear. It seems fairly solid. good, honestly. I, he I mean, killed it yesterday. It was it was a solid choice. Gives it was you very a, nice quickly, under yeah, I mean, gives you a good shot to get that entanglement claws. But at the early levels, like, can they even burst down 2700 HP? Even yeah, if you have it, but they're gonna move on shock low. That's a huge amount of stack there. He is dueled as well, and he is absolutely gonna go down here, but not in the duel. Again, they miss out on that duel damage. That's, so close. They need to get that. That's uh that's a pretty important they, part they of the They want the multicast from Koifu, and had they got it, they probably get that duel win for PyCat. Well, actually, 100% I'm sure they get the duel win. Yeah, this is just the, the, the first level duration is not long enough usually to get the duel win in all in all cases, whereas second and third level is really when you start you know stacking up the damage. So it's not the worst thing. They're, they're stopping the Lundra from farming. Meanwhile, Bulba is just sitting in the trees here, bottom lane. Stay in the trees, my friend, as, as we just think is looking for a gank. Mid lane, they are getting some more farm for EGM. He's not level 6 yet. J4. Where's that great fire blast? He's only level 4, by the way. Is under attack. So. Yeah, supports are uh, pretty much fairly under level. Cap, the yeah, oh, he's top got a DD as well. Cheshire Cap, meanwhile, EGM trying to get his enchant off. There's the last one going through. A lot of heroes coming in. They can't fish her just yet. They will fight now. More TPs. They will grab the kill. Legion with the overwhelming odds on the Batrider. Now Shaco searing chains up. He is in trouble. There's the duel. This is going to be the first one coming out for Bulba. Well, excuse me, for PyCat. Bulba oh, gets the nice kill. Point. Telkinesis. Nexus is going to fall as well. What a disaster. Power Rangers give two kills away to Bulba. He's level 6 now and 800 gold in the bank. Beautifully done for Team Tinker. Nice. Yeah, that's, that is happy days for Team Tinker. They get the duel win. They get levels for Bulba. EGM even lives there. And... Uh, that was a pretty incredible fight for them. EGM now has Arcanes, tower uh, and he wasn't level 6. Fear. If he was level 6, that fight would have been even better for Tinker because he would have been able to echo while the Earth, while the Batrider was kind of wandering around. And I expect Tinker maybe going to press their advantage a little bit here. They want to get as many duel wins as possible, as quickly as possible. And you can also tell that PyCat's gone for the Blink Dagger first. So that's uh, that's the item when you really just want to stack on the duel wins. Sometimes you see Armlet first. Uh, that's a bit more of just like a straight up fight item or a little bit of a farming item so mm -hmm. blink dagger they want to play aggressive you could say they're trying to press the attack oh my god dude that <laughs> was like at least, that you, was at man. least eight out of ten i'm not even gonna lie that was this, this is this only happens with you is when you'll just say something and i'll immediately think of a pun to follow up and i'll just say <laughs> it in the most stupid ridiculous way and everyone's just like fail fish and i'm just like, sorry guys listen it's fine well, shocklo has no bear for like 20 seconds here um that's not that big of a deal but I think he did finish the mask before he, he actually did. died. So. Well, he, he purchased it, I think, after he died? I'm not oh, sure. Okay. Well, regardless, he doesn't have the mask. The mask is done, and 
Well, Power Rangers are on the hunt through the Radiant Jungle here, but all they're going to find is EGM again, and when he has Echo, it's actually yeah. kind of hard to kill him because yeah, the animation is just so hit his fast. R button and, and they can't last him. They also have the duel coming out. He will get lasted up immediately. Mystic Flare. There's the Echo Slam coming in. Fisher not there. EGM does get it off. There's the duel. Fire Blast. EGM falls to Shaco, but now quite for chasing after him. Here comes Sing Sing. Shearing Chains comes in. You got the Ember Spirit going to work, but there's the Entangling Claws. Quirk the Fire Blast is up and ready to go. No multicast. Pycan can't get the kill. He's pressing the attack, but he's getting Rage Fired down. Pycan about to fall. Overwhelming odds. Ignite comes out as well. What a man fight. Sing Sing cannot get the kill on Shockwave. Fire Blast, multicast. Bulba zaps him. Fade Bolt comes in. Ignite Three for gets the two trade. Quirk the. We got Buddy. No, he has to run. TP coming in, he has to run. Another, I think that's another good, fairly good fight there for Team Tinker. They come out ahead a little bit on Golden XP. They also get a duel win. Every time you get a duel win, it's a pretty big deal. And now level 11 for Legion, and he's going to get even more damage. So, PR need to figure out a way to sort of uh, just CC down the Legion during those duels. Try to keep the people alive during the duels, and they'll be in a bit better shape. And again, the EGM just, well, he, I don't think he'll, he's uh, not really interested in dying. Well, that so Mystic he's... Flare missed on quite well. They will do a lot of damage to him. Meanwhile, Sing Sing just grabs the kill on J4, the mid lane. So, Dyer's middle tower is under a bit attack. of an unfortunate no gank coming up from Power Rangers. And, and now it looks like Team Tinker are just, they're pressing the advantage here. Um, again, they're just making sure Shaklo can't really find that farm for his lone Drew. They don't want to get him involved in this game. Team Tinker want to shut him down as much as possible. Sing Sing now has his phase drum. He'll work towards his battle fury. Might be a bit late um, in comparison to what he usually gets, but still, this is this is a very solid game for Team Tinker right now. They're they're not really making too many mistakes, and it feels like they're they're comfortable with what they've got going on. And on top yeah. of that, there's a chainmail coming up for Legion Commander, which might be the start of an assault for us. I think it's probably a blade, blade mail. mail. Yeah, blade mail makes the most sense. Dyer's <laughs> top tower, the tower has been done. lost to war. And blade mail is fairly common on Legion. I think it's pretty good, especially uh, because it basically makes it you know you try to kill me when I'm in duel, and that just does not work. So. Uh, I'm, I think it's a. I like the item. And Shocklow is just continuing to farm up here. It looks like he is probably going to be going for maybe Maelstrom. Uh, Maelstrom? Yeah, probably. That was the build yesterday. It, it was mm -hmm. like. He bought like six different components yesterday, but it was Mom, Maelstrom, Mjolnir, I think. And then he picked up an Assault Taras and then a Basher, I believe, was the, was the straight decision. So. Yeah. And Sing Sing is super farmed. 76 CS, a kill, five assists. And uh, he's got himself phase boots, drums. Poor man shield and 1400 gold so we'll see if he still goes into the battle fury here uh in you know transitioning into the later parts of the game i Duel. think it's uh, uh, dead as hell lasso coming in can they get the blue one yes they do the multicast coming out i can now turning around that slow turn radius they're gonna jump in it looks like sing sing gets bloodlusted fisher coming in boom look at the damage double kill from quickla j4 he that's his ultimate coming down and they'll probably kill him yet again he yeah, gets caught out. Rage Fire Blast. Quick was probably not the target. Do you want to go for J4? Zero chance, no. Multicast. The triple kill coming out from the Ogre. Based Ice Frog gives him the RNG to get the kill. Yeah, he needs to go stop at Vegas or something. He's gotten a lot of multicast, feels yeah, like. Every, every fight, there's at least one. So that's, that's all you really need. And looks like it is going to be the Blade Mail for Piecat. No surprises there. He's going to harass Shockle a little bit. No duel. Dyer's Can't really kill Shockle alone. Gone. The bear will actually no tear him to pieces in the duel. So. This has been quite the aggressive game, and, and you talked about the CS, I think it's more terms, I mean, you, you talked about like 75 CS, and it's like 80 CS now at 16 minutes, it's not the most, but... It's when a you lot, look at considering the, how much they've been fighting. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. The fighting has just been ridiculous, and I'm, I'm, I'm totally down for that. I mean, this is just a lot of early game aggression, which is fantastic. Sing Sing actually picks up a point booster, might be going for an early Scotty, rather than anything else here, which is very interesting. Usually you'd see that Battle Fury, but it is going to be that point booster coming out from him, and uh, I like it, I think. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's an off chance that it's like a bloodstone or something, I don't, but that seems pretty bad. Yeah, that doesn't seem the best. Uh, that seems pretty mediocre, to be honest. But, uh, I don't know. That's kind of an interesting choice. I mean, it does give him a ton of HP, and that's pretty important in this game, with the bear going to be doing lots of damage, and the Skyrath as well. So, it's kind of an interesting build choice here, and Koikva's got an Aghanims. All right. Yeah, he's, he's ready to fight. He's been building that since day one. Meanwhile, there's going to oh, be Sing serious chains coming out, but... Sing actually gets pressed to attack off the Ancient Seal. Duel on Cheshire Cat. Out of position. He falls. Pycat getting yet another kill. And another duel win. He's up to 48 now. Pycat, he might be bringing this Legion around, showing everybody what it's uh, what it's good for here. So, Yeah, I mean, this seems to be working a lot better. I think 
the quick levels are pretty important, and he's a decent solo laner, especially if they knew this bat was going middle, that was some... In, that was an impressive landing choice because press the attack is just so good against Napalm. I, I really like the way that Team Tinker have drafted this game and Radiant You know, we've tower. seen Bulba drafting attack. on and off for it like the last couple like of months right since the I and I think he's really coming into his, into his own on this team They seem to have a really really good, you know set strategy put together and they're executing extremely well EGM has also been pretty standout this game just not really dying and uh, Delivering some impressive fishers. Bulba's only died once as well. Mm -hmm. that, that's the big thing. But Everyone's only died cat. once, except for his Oh, oh boy. Oh, Rip, well, maybe? Like He's pretty that. tanky. There's the blade mail. Mystic Flare, Magic Missile. They take a lot of damage trying to get that kill just through blade mail alone, but uh, they will get it nonetheless. Pycat finally goes down. And that gives them a decent amount of gold. Quick is going to run right into J4, who, by the way, has no reincarnation. Magic Missile. Quick is so damn tanky. Here comes the bear. And Tangling Claw is going through. No, there's the Fisher connecting onto two. Where's the follow up? EGM and H is sealed up. He's looking to get this kill. J4 back up to a pretty much half health. EGM about to get that. Oh, he gets the ultimate off, but he cannot secure the kill. Three down. Here comes Bulba. What are you doing, Sam? Great fire blast is exchanged. Four dead. What a disaster. Although Sing Sing does get the kill on Tishar Cat top, but 1500 gold. In fact, the 2000 network changed there. Power Rangers finally starting to get something going here. But. Uh, that's actually pretty Radiant's good. They were only leading by 5,000, and now it's about there down to 2,500. Do. That's a huge victory, and Power Rangers are going to take Roshan, or at least try to. Yeah, that was a uh, pretty unfortunate timing for that fight to occur, and they lose a lot of heroes oh, there. Sam dies at the end, probably a little bit unnecessarily. And, uh, uh, that's just tough. I don't really, I don't really know if there's too much they could have done about that fight at the end there. Bulba was just trying to get the kill on J4, so. Oh, oh no, Pycat oh. blinks in a bit too late to get the duel off. That would have been huge for Team Tinker, but no yeah. such luck. They give away Roshan, they give away the Aegis, and Shaco is feeling pretty comfortable now. That, that duel range is just just too short to cancel either of those TPs. That's pretty frustrating. I mean, it's pretty damn short. That's yeah, I mean, it's basically melee. So. It's, it's, it is melee. It's like right <laughs> around your feet. It's just like, well, I guess I have to be on top of this person to duel him. So. Yeah. Well, you know, if you duel someone, you slap him in the face. You have Dyer's middle to tower is under so, attack. Yeah. Sing Sing maybe going to go on Cheshire Cat here. There's a lot of heroes behind him. They can definitely go on this. He's going to go there. There's the chance. They latch, and Cheshire Cat is beyond dead here. Oh yeah, uh, that's just Cheshire Cat getting caught out again. If there's one thing that's keeping Power Rangers out of this game, it might be some positioning errors, especially Cheshire Cat who's died six times. This Batrider yeah. is not really doing much. I mean, this hero, we talk about it being so good, but Cheshire Cat is not having the best game. No, I this guess... is rough. He also has does not have the force yet, which is pretty unacceptable no, at 21 they know, minutes. They know PyCats here, actually. They have a, yeah, a pretty good understanding. Just... They have their yeah. entire, jung entire jungle warded, so... Uh... EGM... Is working Radiant towards that blink dagger now. He needs to find himself some solo farm, I think. It'd be pretty yes. nice. Maybe he gets level 11 and a blink dagger. Um, but they're also would be happy with just a big team fight. Shocklow continuing forward has 2,000 gold and that maelstrom. We'll see if he upgrades it to the Mjolnir. Now with the bear having mana, Mjolnir seems insanely good on the bear. It is pretty it's good. much easier to manage. Uh, you get obviously you still get all the benefits from it, so. Um, and uh, he's been pushing attack. pretty effectively as well. I mean, they're right at this tier 2 tower. They have the glyph. However, top lane, there might be a fight coming out. Searing Chains going Sled of Fist as well. Magic Missile. Radiant no, Swap coming through. Quartz Vlog gets concussive fast. shot. He's off to back up. And that Agathon, he still has it, but not quite getting anything done with it. Meanwhile, there's the glyph coming out in the bottom tier 2 tower. The split push is real coming out for Power Rangers, and this is going to get them back attack. into the game. Unless they lose a fight up here in the top lane right now, which oh, they might. Nexus. Nexus. No swap out. He has used it already. He does have the Asha, by the way. Multicast coming through. Searing Chain's going to fly it as they have the remnant, but there's the last one. Sing. Cheshire Cat. Pycat's already won a duel. Double kill for Pycat. There's three, four dead. Aegis and Reincarnation going. J4 throws up the Fire Blast. Will they get this kill? Big Echo coming in. Man, did they get some damage out there. Shocklow TP's up. This is an awful idea, my friend. He's getting caught out. Sing Sing low, but they will grab the kill with Mystic Flare. It was stolen. Bobo getting the kill. Ultra for Pycat. Almost the Rampage. Beautifully done. Team Tinker killing all five. And Cheshire Cat immediately calls GG. That was one of the most one-sided fights I've seen in a really long time, and that's podcast damage paying out there. That was an incredible fight. They also, of course, steal the Mystic Flare for the Robins, and 
that was an insanely well played game for Team Tinker. They did have a couple of moments where it looked a little sketchy. Their positioning was a little off, but for the most part, they played that game extremely well. Cheshire our Cat just extremely behind that whole game. The four staff was just getting finished up there at the end, and rough game for Power Rangers. I think they just they weren't really ready for the lanes. I mean, they pretty much bottom they didn't really lose, but they also never killed Koikawa. Middle Batrider did not really do anything, and top lane was a bit of a mess. So.